We're going to go down onto the south coast, home of myself, Southampton versus Tottenham on Sunday. And Southampton have got to get something out of this game. They certainly need to, but obviously the stats will tell you that they probably won't get anything from this game. I mean, uh, there's no doubt that Tottenham, on paper, are a more impressive side. Uh, I personally would have to say, I'm afraid, I will be going for Tottenham rather than Southampton, but they really need the points. Southampton favourites here, Butler? I don't know about that, Flash. I think you might be looking for your Southampton's glasses again, or your sunglasses. Not a chance. South Tottenham odds on 17 to 20. And I think you'll see uh, it's so important for bookmakers and punters what happens on the Saturday and the Sunday. Now, if results go against the bookies, then this will be backed. The punters will have money, and this 17 to 20 will start off shorter. And you know what? One team that will always let you down as a punter away from home is Tottenham. This is a fixture list that I would not be backing them at 17 to 20. And if you've got the readies, they will get short, and then the Puggies and William Hills will offer them in and take your money to get it all back on Tottenham. And I tell you, I wouldn't mind taking a bit on it. I think the draw at 5 to 2 represents a bit of value. All the stats say over goals. I can't tell them they just cannot concede. They've conceded more goals. Sorry, they keep conceding. They can't keep a clean sheet. They've letting more goals than anybody else. I think a score draw could be a peer at 5-2. to two, But this Tottenham price, depending on Saturday's results, will be backed off the boards, I think. I think we'll see a rejuvenated Southampton and they'll respond. I think a draw is probably the least that Southampton can, uh, can expect. But I'd want to be a layer of uh, Tottenham. But we've got goal scorers here. Who springs out straight away? Yeah, but, well, Gareth Bale's 3-1 to one to score in a Spurs victory. That's not a bad price. Uh, Ricky Lambert, obviously loads of people will be on him. In fact, I think we were looking at the stats the other day. 87% of the first goal scorers on average every week go on Ricky Lambert. So there's no doubt who the locals expect to score for them. Ricky Lambert. I'm not quite sure if we play flash. That's the thing. Seven to one, Ricky Lambert here. He's the most popular selection in Southampton. When he scores, the Southampton fans are happy. When he doesn't, they're not so not so happy at all. Rodriguez, the record signing, filled fifteen to two. Zigerson, who scored him in week seven to one, Defoe four to one shot. But added by your, if he plays, I think he could be the value at five to one. 